Hello there. My name is Greg Bem. I'm one of the librarians at Spokane Community College. And in today's video, I'm going to show you Semantic Scholar, which is a search platform powered by AI that is designed to get you close to scientific literature. Um, note that scientific literature can also include research of all sorts, um, including science and beyond. Um, when we look at this interface, and the first thing we'll notice is its simplicity, similar to other research databases that libraries provide access to. Semantic Scholar is in the middle. We can sign in or create a free account, or we can just start searching. Um, you'll note that it has access to over 200 million papers from all fields of science. It provides possible starting points just for testing. And we can accept the terms of service. And if we scroll down, we can note that um, there are a couple features that are emerging, including API for developers and a semantic reader that is being introduced for a variety of full text pieces um, where there is some basic analysis and metadata infused uh, visit, uh, visual tools um, for enhanced reading experiences within some of the, the papers. Um, let's do a search. Let's do Frida Kahlo because it's right here and Frida's staring right back at us. So let's take a look what happens when we open up the search. We're going to very quickly, as you may have noticed, get our results here in the middle of the screen. Um, we can still sign in or create a free account. There's no advanced search, so to speak, but there are a lot of search functionality or tools. We can uh, note that the returns include 15,000 results. Um, field of study, so if we wanted to filter by variety of disciplines or categories, um, we could do so. So for example, if we want art, then we can select art. Uh, we can have a date range, uh, seemingly many sources from the last 24 years or so. Um, if we want access to the PDF, we can select has PDF. If we want to uh, determine the author, um, we can do that. And then if we want to um, identify if there's a, a journal or conference that's associated with uh, this in particular, we can use that filter. We can sort by relevance, etc. cetera. Uh, we can also change the view, which is more um, expanded for as, as the default or uh, abbreviated. Now the results are again, similar to a search engine or a database. We have the title of the work. We have the author or authors, the categories that Semantic Scholar has identified. We have um, the publication information, the, the date of publication, and then a abstract. Um, underneath, we can go to the PDF and it says whether it's available one way or another. In this case, the PDF is open access. We can get to the publisher website. We can save this if we're logged in. We can also cite this in a variety of styles. It's just like using a research database. A lot of the tools are the same. Uh, let's say we are interested in reading more. Click on the title and we can see the references that this paper shows up in and um, related papers, which I believe is where the AI comes in. And if we click on view via publisher, it'll open up a new tab and take us to the publisher's page. It's taking a while to load. And then we can also go to the Here's the publisher's page. You can go to the PDF, which is downloading and loading into the, the screen. And this is a um, multilingual publication with images. It's quite awesome. It actually looks like in this case, the document is 
only the abstract is in English or the overview. If we go back, let's try to find one that's entirely in English here. Um, probably could have just looked at the journal title, The Art of Pain. And it looks like this was published through a publisher that's available through PubMed. And here is our PDF. That is essentially a semantic scholar, providing quick access to a lot of different types of sources, including open access sources. If you have any questions about semantic scholar, let us know. Talk to your friendly Spokane Community College librarians. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.